All right, for all those Galaxy S10 series and Note 10 series owners out there, I have got good news as well as bad news in this video. The good news is we have received the One UI 4.1 update. While I'm still waiting for this update on Note 20 series, at least in my region. Now the bad news is the S10 series and Note 10 series are getting into quarterly security patch schedule. So no more monthly security patches for these devices. Moreover, this is the last major Android update that we have received. So no more Android updates for S20 and Note 20 series. We have already received three updates. This phone was launched in the year 2019 and Samsung supported three years of major upgrade for this phone, which ends this year. However, this capable phone will go on for another one year at least, and then you can take a call whether to keep this phone or to upgrade to another Note or an S-series device. This is the information I wanted to share before we get into the One UI 4.1 features on the Note 10 Plus. Before we go ahead, if you love the contents of this channel, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button for this video if you find it useful. Now, let's get rolling. I will be talking about some of the important features here. Let's begin with the smart widgets. This is an amazing feature we have got on One UI 4.1. Just press and hold on the home screen, tap on widgets. On the top, we see smart widget. Here we get three different options. I always prefer the last one because it's large and it can fit in a lot of information and a lot of widgets. When we add this widget on the home screen, we have weather widget, calendar widget, as well as reminder widget. And on this, we can add or remove more widget up to about seven widgets we can add. By adding the smart widget, we can keep our home screen clutter free. That is the first one. Second important feature is inside the gallery app. Now we have got advanced photo editing features. We have got much improved remastering feature. Then we have got this portrait effect, which can be applied on a non-portrait image. Let me show you that. Let's open this particular image here. As you can see, there is no bokeh effect on this. We can tap on this three dot button. We have an all new option, add portrait effect. When you tap on this, you see the background blur effect over here. And we can increase or decrease this effect by using this slider at the bottom. Next one is left and right sound balance option in hearing enhancements inside the accessibility settings. Let's open settings. Let's go to accessibility. Here, I'll tap on hearing enhancements. As you can see at the bottom, we have got left, right sound balance. We can now use this for connected audio as well as phone speakers. This is a cool feature we have. Next one is about the color palettes. Let's press and hold on the home screen. I'll tap on wallpaper and style. Now, as you can see, we have got some cosmetic changes on the color palette selection options. We can see these bars instead of the circles that we had earlier. This is not gonna change much when we apply the themes. The representation of these options have changed into bars from the circles. I couldn't really notice any improvement or any kind of difference in the way the AI picks the colors from a wallpaper. I think it remains more or less the same. Now let's go to settings. I'll tap on battery and device care, memory. We have RAM plus option over here. And now we can select how much virtual memory to provide. This may differ from the amount of storage space used. We can select a 2GB, 4GB, 6 or 8GB. By default, it is selected 4GB here. And this phone by default has 12GB of RAM, which is more than enough for any heavy task. So I don't see this virtual memory getting used on this kind of a smartphone. I mean, we just don't really need that kind of a virtual memory when we already have 8 or 12GB of memory or even 6 GB default memory for that matter. Anyways, we have this feature. The next feature is inside the calendar application. Let's open calendar. I'll tap on hamburger menu here on the top. I'll tap on the settings. Here you can see we have got event title font size. When I tap on this, I can change the event title fonts to extra small, medium, large, or extra large. By default, we have small. Let me select extra large and this is how it looks. So this is the font size on the calendar application. Now let's tap on settings. Let's go to advanced features. I'll tap on labs. As you can see, we have full screen in split screen view option or toggle here. This is a new addition. This feature was already available on the GoodLock module. Now it has been incorporated into the One UI 4.1 here. Whenever we are using two different applications in split screen view, the status bar and the navigation bars will be hidden. Next one is an all new Bixby routine option. I'll open Bixby routines. Under adaptive routines, we have got an all new option. Let me tap on view more. 
as you can see we have got get notified when fully charged of course this kind of routines we can manually set but now we have a default routine or a preset available on bixby routines the if condition is battery level equal or above 100% which can be changed and the then condition is edge lighting effect once vibrate once always on display show custom notification which can be edited as well next one is a hidden feature while sharing a particular file let me show you that i will select a couple of images here i'll tap on share as you can see i have got the number of items here and the size of those items next to that i have got an option called options when i tap on this it says include location data include all images and video data include all metadata and original as well as edited versions of images and videos the recipients can revert and view the originals videos will be sent in original quality now let's say you have edited an image inside the gallery application and then you want to share that particular image to somebody else through quick share by enabling this particular toggle then the recipient will be able to revert that image to its original condition or further edit that image that's a very cool feature addition on one ui 4.1 Apart from these important features we do have some additional features in the change log which I mentioned those are some minor changes we have you can deep dive into the change log and go through everything to see what are those minor changes i have already made dedicated videos on one ui 4.1 there are two parts i have left the links for those videos in the description you can go ahead and watch them there are a bunch of videos on the channel about one ui 4.1 tips and tricks best applications etc be sure to check out those videos on the channel and do not forget to subscribe and yeah of course leave a like for this video as well that will encourage me a lot to come up with some cool contents for you guys that's all i want to share with you guys enjoy your last update on the note 10 as well as the s10 series no more major android upgrades quarterly security patches use the phone for another one year because it's it's a great phone even today it can handle anything and everything you throw at it and even the battery life is just amazing probably next year you can think of upgrading it to yes 23 ultra or any other phones that's all i want to share with you guys thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe i will see you in the next one cheers bye bye